guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I made my little love bug cake. So I made it in last week's Facebook Live. It's, I'm calling it a love bug, I'm not really sure exactly what it is. But we're just going to start with some buttercream and some cake. So I've used a strawberry milkshake flavour uh, buttercream. And my cake is partially frozen because I hadn't really planned this video and I decided I was going to go use a spare cake that I had upstairs in the freezer. So it's a fairly small cake, I think it's a 5 inch one that I've got here. You can let yours defrost if you want before using it. So I've just put my buttercream in the middle and I'm just going to round it off by cutting the edges. Now guys, if you've got a dome shaped cake tin, you can just use the cake tin cake pan to create a dome shaped cake. You don't have to cut your cake like I have done here. So I'm going to cover the whole thing in the buttercream, apply a decent layer and then we can scrape it off afterwards. So I'm using like a flexible smoother. Guys, I'm going to put links below the video to everything that I use so that you can see exactly what products it is that I've used. I do sell most of them in my online store as well, should you need them. So we're kind of bending the smoother as we're taking it over the cake so we get a bit of a dome. And I'm going to then transfer it onto a cake board. So can you see the cake moved easily? I just put some buttercream down on the other board as well because it's got um, a cake card underneath. So that's how I moved it easily. So we're going to use some piping nozzles. Again, I'm going to link which ones below the video. Just pop those to one side for later because I've decided I'm going to colour the board. So the board was pre-iced. I had covered it in like a pale pink fondant and then we've just added some edible pink dust. And then I'm using some white fondant to cut out some little cloud shapes. So I've just got cutters that do this for me. You can cut them by hand if you prefer. I'm going to go fairly thin with these. Cut them down if you need to. So I can kind of cut them into smaller clouds by sort of overlapping them a little bit. And I've got these oval cutters. These are my PME oval cutters. Again, I'll put links below the video for you guys. So I want a big oval and a small oval for each wing. I'm going to cut the ends off slightly so I can just tuck them in a little bit closer to the body. So you can see it's just a bit of a curve that's removed from each wing. Now we're going to make its nose in fondant first before we start any piping. So I've got two pink balls. I'm just going to pop them on. I'm going to go fairly low down on the face, I think, so I've got plenty of room for the eyes. I know it looks a bit weird. Just a little piece that was squashing and then we're going to make a little arch out of it or a little curve. It's going to go underneath those. So that's going to create like the nose and mouth. I've moved them a bit further down the face again. And I'm going to put a nose on there in a deeper pink, but I've just put a bit of the pale pink in the background just to lift it a bit higher. And let's roll it so we get more of a kind of nose shape. It's kind of like triangle-ish. Maybe not quite triangle, I'm not sure. I'm adding a bit of pearlized dust just to give it a bit more of a shine. I don't think it shows very well on the video, but in real life it, it kind of showed a little bit better. So we're keeping the cake fairly small as well, guys, because at the moment I'm not going anywhere. I'm not seeing anybody to give the cakes to. I eat a lot of cake at the moment, too much cake. Um, so just dust the wings with whatever colour you fancy. I've gone for pink and also some pearlized like hint of pink dust on that one. And then for the eyes, we're going to cut out two rounds. Again, I'll link below which cutters I did actually use for this. I have like a huge selection of different round sizes, so I've got plenty to choose from. And we've gone thinner with some black. Now you can use fondant or modeling paste for the black, whichever you find easier. As long as it's edible, it's fine. So we've got a smaller disc of black, larger disc of white put together. And then we've got some white hearts. Now, guys, the thank you for your support um, comes up automatically on Facebook. But thank you for your support as well, for all of you guys that watch the videos regularly. And as well as the white heart, I'm also doing a little circle with the piping nozzle. Or you could just roll a round ball. Can you see I've kind of misshaped the circle anyway? We're going to draw the iris around. I'm going to go for pink. Maybe pink looks a bit evil. These are edible pens, guys, as well that we're using. So I'm going to try and add a bit of purple to it. If you can leave the pen to dry a bit before adding like the purple pen, it's a bit better. Then what I'm going to do is run over with a tiny bit of water on my brush. Just a tiny bit of water. Don't soak the brush. And by rubbing over the top, it takes some of the colour away just a tiny bit. So the eyes look slightly lighter in that area where I've brushed over. Now I'm going for two black circles again. They're the same size as the white that we originally used for the first circle. So you're going to put the white on the black, but you need to overlap it. So you need to move it so it's slightly going to one side so that the black shows. And let's put some fresh buttercream on for where the eyes are going to go. And we'll press them in place. Just need to decide if you want them high up, low down close together, really far apart. 
Then we're going to do some piping. Now, I think I overmixed my buttercream a bit. So it's, it's not the nicest consistency. I don't really do much in buttercream. I know a lot of you guys comment on here um, that you don't really like fondant. I use fondant because I find it easy to use. I also don't mind it in small bits on my cake. Um, big bits I usually just tear off. But we're going to go all the way over with this kind of leaf shape. You could use the grass nozzles as well. Um, they kind of just give you more like fur-like texture. So either, either ones. And I swap to a smaller leaf nozzle for as you get closer to the nose and the eyes. And you could also just do this kind of thing on a cupcake. So just trying to show you on a cupcake, just creating the same kind of effect. And with the cupcake, you could just add sprinkles or you could add eyes to match your cake. So I've got a few different sets of sprinkles here. You should just pick out different bits that I like out of each set of sprinkles. And again, you don't have to use the sprinkles if you prefer not to. But they stick nicely to the buttercream. As long as you've not left your buttercream too long before trying to add the sprinkles, then they should sit on there okay. Kind of reminds me of a wuzzle. Does anyone remember the wuzzles? I also have some chocolate hearts. Now, I'd already had these made. I've got a couple left because I've been eating them a lot. Um, they're just made with a flexible silicone mould. And it's just pink chocolate that I've used. So the ruby chocolate's pink anyway, which gives me a nice colour. Again, I'll link that below. And then we're going to, I think, maybe have them have them as its little... I don't know what they're called. The things that stick off the top of an insect's head. Those bits. Um, just playing around with some more sprinkles. You could use like the little edible sprinkle rods for like eyebrows or something, maybe. And I'm going to just draw on with a pen for these bits. I was going to roll out fondant really thin, or you could even pipe a thin line of buttercream, but I'm just going to use a pen because I thought that might be the quickest option for it. Buttercream under each heart though, to hold it in place. So the chocolate hearts, remember guys, so you can eat them. And let's use some leftover paste that I've got left over from the nose and make some little legs. So I'm rolling it, leaving the end a bit fatter than the rest of it, so that we can squish down for a bit of a foot. When you're doing these legs, put a little bend in at the knee and the ankle if you can, but try and make the back legs slightly smaller. So as you're bringing them inwards, that's my quick sketch, doesn't quite look the same, does it? As they should be close to you, they should be slightly bigger, but only slightly. So this is just showing you guys what I used there as well. So that's the gel colour that I use for colouring the buttercream. And let's just put some wording on it. And I'm just using a mould. Now I have more than one of these moulds. So that if I need to make several of the same letter at the same time, it's quicker for me. Um, but you guys don't need several of the same mould. <laughs> and then we're just going to stick our lettering on with just a tiny bit of water. Or you can use edible glue on the back of each letter. And pop them in place. And just be careful because we put edible dust on the cake board. And sometimes if you put the letter in the wrong place and try to move it, it kind of leaves a dirty mark on the, on the dust. But there we go. That's it all done my love bug. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget you can catch us every Tuesday morning at 10.30 a.m. UK time over on my Facebook page. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.